In this tutorial, I'm going to walk through the process of how you can update your Revit data within Power BI using the tracer tools. You can see that I have a sample dashboard set up here that's describing a hypothetical leasing plan diagram that's set up using the tracer visual, and this dashboard is established using some Revit data that's been exported using the tracer harvesting tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change up some configuration to this plan. I'm going to turn this large office into a series of smaller offices and then update my dashboard accordingly. So first thing I'm going to do is jump over into Revit and I'm going to find that office. You can see I have this office space defined here inside of Revit. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and add in a few uh, additional wall partitions to subdivide this space into a series of smaller spaces. So add a partition at the top and I'm going to go ahead and add a partition at the bottom. I'm then going to go change up this large office and reclassify it as a uh, medium office. And I'm also going to change its occupancy value to six. So I've made it significantly smaller there. And what I'm going to then do is add in a few rooms uh, at the top and bottom here. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Revit room command and place two new rooms in my project. So I've created one at the top and I'm now going to place one at the bottom as well. So after I've uh, established that, I'm going to go ahead and click on those two room objects and configure them a little bit. I'm going to make sure that they're classified as small offices. Um, and I need to make sure that these are available. So I'm going to make, make them kind of classified as available office space. And I'm going to give these both occupancy values of three. So now I have successfully updated those rooms to reflect two small offices and a medium office. Um, previously, this was a large office. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the Proving Ground tab now and go to the Tracer Export. And you'll see that I already have this file established from before. It's called uh, example office DB. I'm going to go ahead and save that file. And it's going to go through this process of reharvesting my Revit data and building up that file. And when it's complete, um, we'll see that we have this success message that says the model has been exported and hit OK on that. And I'm going to jump back into my Power BI dashboard. And all I need to do at this point um, is hit refresh. And because this Power BI file is linked back to that original um, database file that Tracer produces, um, it's now reaching in and it's essentially going to be refreshing this data with, with new information. And what we're going to see is this large office now has turned into two small offices and a medium office. And as a result of this workflow, all of the data in my Power BI dashboard is now updated with this latest information. So it's a very fast workflow. Um, if you make changes to your Revit file over time and then you re-export to this uh, Tracer database format, Power BI will um, also allow you to refresh that data and keep your dashboard reports in sync with what's going on in Revit.